Hello and welcome to this week's video. My name is Anuska Taylor. It's so great to have you here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my videos. I release weekly videos. And also, if you enjoy individual videos, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, ask me a question. It just really helps to get my videos out to more people. So today I am talking about a topic that I've talked about before, but I'm going to address it more directly today, which is mumbling. So do you mumble? Do you know you mumble? Have people told you that you mumble and can you stop mumbling? You hear that quite a bit. So this is the video for you and I want to address what mumbling really is and the two key elements that you have to address to resolve mumbling. And I'm going to give you a couple of exercises at the end, but just to know if you spent your life mumbling, it's not going to change overnight. And if you watch any of my videos, you'll know that I talk a lot about the psychology of the voice. So there's a reason you mumble. It's not random. On some level, you don't really want to be heard, but we'll come to that in a bit. But first of all, let's just talk about mumbling and what it is. So mumbling is really a lack of precision in consonants. So in our language, we have consonants and vowels. Consonants carry meaning and understanding really of what we're saying, and the vowels will carry emotion. So if you feel your voice lacks emotion, you're probably not living in the vowels enough. There's probably a harshness and a hardness around the consonants. But if you find that you mumble and your voice lacks intelligibility and understanding and clarity, then there isn't enough precision in how you are articulating consonants. So that's really essentially what's going on. So the upshot is a voice that's very hard to understand and makes it very difficult for your audience to follow you because they have to really work hard to listen to what you're saying. We all know it's exhausting listening to people where we have to personally put a lot of effort in to just understand what they're saying. So this is something if you're serious about going to the next level in your business or career, you really have to address this because no one is going to work that hard to understand you and they will just switch off. So the two key things that have to be addressed then in a voice that mumbles, one is clarity and one is energy. So when we mumble, there's a few things that will likely happen. First of all, there's a decreased movement in the articulators. So jaw, tongue, lips, primarily. Watch yourself in a mirror. If you know you're someone that mumbles, I could almost put money on it that probably your jaw doesn't really move or there's a lot of tension in your jaw. Your lips don't really move or maybe just the bottom lip moves. Sometimes we don't fully engage the articulators. So only half the muscles move. And usually pretty much for everyone, including myself, I've had to do work on this myself over the years, is our tongue is lazy. It's very tense and tight at the back and doesn't have that agility and movement and freedom. So for real clarity in consonants, we want there to be agility and freedom in the tongue. And so for most people, it's very good at retracting and pulling back, but it's not very good at freely moving forward. So we want that freedom in all of the articulators. So we're looking for articulators that work interdependently. So it's almost like a, a beautiful orchestra. You know, it's not like one instrument that's dominating, they all work together. And I kind of use that analogy quite a bit because I'm also a singer and a songwriter because I kind of like it. Think about this is what to create beautiful music with your voice, whether you're singing or speaking, it's all like this beautiful orchestra that's got to work together. So all of these moving parts have to come together. And what tends to happen when people mumble is one or maybe two of the articulators are kind of doing most of the work. And even then there's usually a lot of tension and there's usually a lot of limited movement. So they're not even fully being utilized. So the first one was sort of decreased movement of articulators. The second one is there's incomplete sounds. And actually this sort of feeds into the third point as well. So there's incomplete sounds when you mumble, which normally coincides with people that speak fast. So my most successful video on YouTube by far is my video about speaking too fast. If you're 
someone that recognizes you speak fast, there's going to be an element of mumbling in your voice. Now, it's not that you can't speak fast and speak with clarity, but it's harder work and it requires more training, more agility, more flexibility in your voice. And so if you're not trained, you probably don't have that just naturally. So they tend to go hand in hand. You speak fast and you're not fully completing the sounds. So hence we lose some of the intelligibility and understanding in what you're saying. So they can kind of go hand in hand, the incomplete sounds and the speaking fast, which is why if we want to change this, we have to slow down our speech first so we can fully enunciate, fully live into the sounds of the words, and then we can speed up when we can do it slowly. And then the final one, which is really common, is there's limited pitch movement. So often when people are mumbling, there is limited pitch movement, i.e. they're monotone. So it tends to go hand in hand, the pitch sort of drops, it's very flat, and there's just a lack of energy. So the two key areas, therefore, you must address are energy in the voice and clarity. Because a voice that's monotone normally lacks energy, a voice that mumbles normally lacks clarity, and they tend to go hand in hand. So we have to address the energy, the sort of flatness in the voice, which is often prevalent with a voice that mumbles and the lack of clarity. Now, as I say, you can't address these in five seconds. This is going to be a process and a journey, but starting to become aware of it is the first step and starting to do some daily practice, but just don't expect this to change overnight. Because if you watch any of my videos, you will know that your vocal habits that you have created unconsciously are there to serve you. So that's where you have to address the underlying emotional sort of root cause, because mumbling isn't random. On some level, you don't really want to be heard. So you have to address that. Because this is why you can do all the right exercises, but nothing really changes because unconsciously, emotionally mumbling is keeping you safe. So, but just to note that today, this is more a practical video, but just to note the psychology of this is 100% driving it. And yes, with just working on the exercises, you can create some change, but you will find it very hard to maintain that change if you really have a fear of being heard. And that's what this is usually really about, because when the voice lacks energy and clarity, no one's going to listen to you. No one's going to be able to hear you. So we have to address both. So I'm going to give you a couple of exercises you can use today to start to address this, bearing in mind it's a journey and it's not going to happen overnight. Um, but what I really want to impress upon you is in order to create change, as well as looking at the emotional kind of root cause of why you wouldn't want to be heard, the other aspect of this, in terms of the physical exercises, you have to go to an extreme. And I did all of my training initially as a singing teacher, and this was something that was heavily kind of drilled into us from day one. When you're trying to create new habits as a singer, we have to go to an extreme. So if the voice is very sort of light and breathy, then we go to the other end of the spectrum in order to find a middle ground. So if the voice is sort of here and it's very unclear and mumbles, they might do their practice and maybe take it to sort of here. Um, but actually you want to go here. So you've got to see it as going to the other extreme and then you find the middle ground. Now, what tends to happen is we go to the other extreme and we freak out and we think, I don't want to sound that ridiculous. So let me just go back to maybe 1% away from where I was. Nothing's really going to change. So a lot's really got to change because not only have we got to engage and strengthen new muscles, but we're also often releasing muscles that have previously been doing the work that don't really need to be involved. So just to really impress upon you, you have to go to an extreme. And otherwise you'll just find you go back and then you add to the mix all the psychology of this and you'll just go back, which is why people find it hard to maintain these changes. So with that in mind, I have, I'm sure I've given this exercise before. It's not actually my exercise. I got it from s someone a long time ago, don't know where, but it's such a brilliant exercise 
that I use it all the time for people with clarity and intelligibility kind of problems with their voice. So you just want something long, thin, hard, pen, pencil, metal straw, uh, chopstick, I guess. I'm just trying to think of what else could be, fit into that bracket. And what you're going to do is you're going to put it between your back teeth. So it's going to stick out to the side like this. Now, the important thing with this is we're not clenching the jaw to hold the pen, pencil, whatever in place. So you're not going, you are just, it's just gently being held by the teeth. Now, this is why you must hold the pen, because if you do it like this, then you will grip, but I don't want you to grip through the jaw because then we're just creating a whole new problem. So allow the jaw to stay soft and hold the pen or pencil so that you don't have to grip. Now, what this is doing is it's just dropping the jaw enough for the sound to come out of your mouth, but we're not overly engaging the jaw in the process of articulation. And what most people do who are not trained because the jaw is a very strong muscle, it tends to get overly involved. The tongue and the lip muscles don't tend to be as used and as strong. So the body is amazing at compensating. And it's like, I know I've got some very strong jaw muscles. Let's use the jaw. So this is why we want to get the jaw out of the way. But we want it open, softly open, but not gripping, not clenching. So then we can focus on the lips and the tongue because that's really where the magic happens. But as I said, for most people, those muscles are not very strong. Uh, the tongue, it tends to be the, the retracting muscle that's strong, but the muscle that brings the tip of the tongue forward for most people tends to be quite weak and lazy. So we've got to really build it up, just like going to the gym. You know, you don't go your first day in the gym and lift the heaviest weights you can, you build up. So see this as sort of training the muscles of articulation. The same with the lips. As I said, I've done separate videos on these topics anyway, but for a lot of people, they either don't really move the lips at all, or it's just the bottom lip. The top lip is just solid and doesn't really engage. So for free, powerful, effortless articulation, it's all got to be, it's all got to be working together. So with that in mind, put the pen between your back teeth. And then what I want you to say is you can say anything, just take a sentence. So I'm going to say my name, but what I want you to do is really articulate it to the point where you feel and maybe look a bit stupid. So my name is Anushka. So really move your lips and your tongue. And you don't need to have the pen for right in your mouth. It can be right on the edge. So the tongue can still move and then go to the other side. My name is Anushka. My name is Anushka. So get everything moving. What you don't want to do is just go, my name is Anushka, because you're not doing anything. So make sure the lips are really coming forward. So my name is Anushka. My name is Anushka. My name is Anushka. And you're starting to create space. You're starting to feel what it's like to have more space and more clarity in the voice. So we've got to go to an extreme. We've got to over articulate. So do this first. And you can do this if you're practicing for a presentation or a speech. You can read it with the pen between your back teeth. Take the pen out. Read it again. I guarantee it will feel easier and it will sound so much clearer. The other thing with this, if you are someone that speaks fast, is you have to slow down. You will not be able to speak fast and precisely articulate with more intention. You, It will force you to slow down. So that's the first one. So that's for clarity. And I've got other exercises, but just giving you a couple of things today. Now for energy, this is a challenging one as well, because as I said, they go hand in hand. And bearing in mind, we're really working with someone that doesn't really want to be heard. So bringing energy to the voice, we're bringing the voice forward. We're bringing more vibrancy and aliveness to the voice. And you've just got to start to pay attention when I give you this exercise. Does this emotionally feel uncomfortable? 
it won't physically feel uncomfortable hopefully but emotionally is there a like a oh no that makes me sound really stupid I'm not doing that I'm just going to go back to doing what I was doing before so pay attention to that because if that is you if this feels uncomfortable emotionally to really allow your voice out then you know that there is some aspect of you that doesn't want to be heard and you have to address that for this work to actually really stick and to be lasting so what i want you to do is imagine that you're in a room presenting in a room and you've got to get project your voice to the back of the room like not not like a concert hall but an ordinary sort of meeting room let's say and i want you to just first of all get some softness through your body so just roll your shoulders turn your head from side to side because what a lot of people will do is they will grip through their upper chest through their shoulders through their neck and then try and push the voice out from there so we've got to get some movement through the body so roll the shoulders i've done whole videos on this so you can find those if you want some um, ideas for warming your voice up um, and your body up shake your hands just get some movement now from that place i'd like you to say hey good morning hey good morning and imagine that you're driving your voice to the back of that room so or driving your voice into the computer and out the other side hey good morning and see if you can get that aliveness in your face get the lips moving get the tongue moving get the body engaged so it's not gripping so it's not tensing and you can also move your hands as well because gesturing is really really helps to remind the brain that the voice is going forward the voice is always going forward whatever your pitch is doing even if you're singing really high the voice is always forward so try that and then you can actually stand up get some movement through your body again just remind your body to relax to soften hey good morning and see what happens then see emotionally how that feels because probably if you fall into this category of mumbling that might not feel very comfortable emotionally and you might feel a bit stupid you might worry what people think of you it's just all information to show you in some way there is an emotional break on your voice and yes we're going to an extreme here but make no mistake that's driving everything so I hope that that has helped have a go let me know in the comments how you go now I just wanted to share as well we've got International Women's Day coming up on the 8th of March which is I believe two weeks time and I have a special kind of intro package called Empowered Voice which really is good for people who are new to voice coaching new to private voice coaching or who have a speech or a presentation or something that they're preparing for and they just want a kind of one-off session so this is a 397 investment and basically this is going to give you some real bespoke personalized feedback on your voice on your vocal delivery and then i'll share some ways you can actually address it so that you can move forward so it includes first of all you would send me a video of you speaking so i can see you i can see what your body is doing i can see what your facial muscles are doing and then i will analyze that make some notes and then we will have a private session a 60 minute private session where i will go through with you what i've observed and more importantly show you how you can start to break free of those patterns and then finally i will provide you with a summary of everything that we've discussed everything that i have observed in your voice and some practical steps you can move forward with so if you're interested in that i will put the link below you make the payment the 397 payment you have six months to take this but you do need to book it by the 8th of march because it's a special i'm doing for international women's day having said that it is available to anyone so you don't have to be a woman it's really open to anyone that's interested so you make the payment i'll then be in contact with you and let you know how to share that video with me and then we'll book the private session in and then from that you will get so much new insight and awareness into your voice 
and how to move forward because it's really hard to do this by yourself and even if you're aware that say you mumble it's like well what do I do because not every exercise works for everyone in my videos I try and give exercises that I think will help for the masses but of course nothing beats private voice coaching because I can work directly with you and where you're at and your body and your voice and your goals and your mind so the link is below if you have any questions though don't hesitate to get in contact with me if you are interested in private voice coaching where you're looking for a more in-depth exploration of your voice and more lasting transformation then you can also book a voice consult below and we can have a chat about my speak with impact eight month container if you're interested in that so all the links are below there's lots of ways you can work with me thank you so much i hope you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up if you did and i will see you on next week's video